Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today I am going to show you how to run a cross call Wallace test using SPSS version 23, uh, interpret the results as well as write them in the report. So uh, we have our data entered in this way. So we have three groups, categorical groups, and uh, we have their corresponding scores as you can see and we want to see whether or not there is any uh, difference or statistically significant difference between or in the, the medians of these groups so we try to to use the one-way ANOVA test but uh, uh, there is an assumption of uh, uh, normality uh, that is violated therefore we resorted to the cross call Wallace test. So here we go to uh, analyze and then we go to non parametric tests uh, and then we choose uh, legacy dialogues and then we uh, click on key independent samples. Once clicked, so I'm going to reset this to show you how I did it uh, so we move I move the categorical variable that is uh, groups in this case to the grouping variable and the scores which is by the way continuous uh, variable uh, ratio variable to test list then I uh, check cross call Wallace H and before checking that uh, and moving to the analysis, well, I'm going to uh, define uh, groups. So I, cl I click on the groups and click define range. So the range uh, between minimum, minimum and maximum. So I coded the variables uh, from one to two, if you go to three. So I'm going to put the minimum one and the maximum three and click continue. After that, so we, I already checked the cross call Wallace H test, so I click OK. And here is the output. So now I should interpret this output and write it in the report. So uh, here I use this uh, table of test statistics. So I'm going to copy and paste it uh, to my report and then explain. Uh, so, so this is the table that I took from SPSS, uh, and this is how the result of cross call Wallace test should be written. So, I take uh, I write H uh, in italics, in, if you are writing in APA style, and then put the values of the degrees of freedom, which are in this case two, DF. Then put uh, equal chi-square test statistic so then I'm going to choose uh, to move to this chi-square test uh, statistic and see uh, its value so I'm going to put this value here and then put the uh, p like this in italics equal and write the uh, significance here we have asymptotic uh, sig uh, two, uh, 256 uh, out of 1000 or uh, 25 per, uh, percent so anyway this value uh, as you can see is uh, greater than 0 0.05 therefore we fail to reject uh, the null hypothesis that states that there is no statistically significant difference in the medians of these groups so I can say that cross call Wallace edge test show that there is no statistically significant uh, difference between the three groups in our case for example and I put the formula that I told you about and if we, we have this uh, that is below uh, 0 0.05 uh, we can uh, proceed to post hoc man whitney u test to identify the differences in pairs of groups okay uh, so uh, you can do that uh, through the man whitney u test I'm just going to show you uh, quickly so we go to analyze non-parametric tests 
uh, legacy dialogues and we choose uh, two independent samples so and we move the variables as we did uh, in the first place and we uh, choose here man with knee you test but before that we have to check which group we want to compare for example i want to uh, compare group one with group three or with group two okay and then click continue and click ok okay so here is the man with new test you can uh, also interpret the sig value of this test so here there is no statistically significant difference and you can uh, compare uh, group by group till you finish so that's it uh, if you have questions do not hesitate to post them below see you in another video